State leaders and lawmakers are reminding drivers to slow down and move over whenever you see anything happening on the side of roadways. This is all in part of National Crash Responder Safety Week. The dangers we face every day are a stark reality. For first responders and crash responders, the job comes with growing risks. The primary contributing factors for the accidents we see on Connecticut roadways are the result of aggressive, distracted, and impaired driving. In the last five years, more than 200 first responders across the nation have been killed in crashes on the side of roadways, including several here at home. Trooper First Class Aaron Pelletier was killed on I-91 while conducting a traffic stop. DOT worker Andrew DiDomenico was also killed while working roadside along the Wharton Brook connector. And in 2020, Corey Iodice, a tow truck driver, was killed on the side of the Merritt Parkway. Connecticut roads are more dangerous than they were even when Corey was killed. Cindy Iodice founded Flagman Safety, a nonprofit that educates drivers and children about slow down, move over laws in honor of her brother. We're teaching kids long before they get behind the wheel that we need a safer driving culture, not only in Connecticut, but across the nation. State leaders are reminding drivers about the move over law, a critical layer of safety to anyone whose job puts them on the side of the road. This is a critical issue because they are putting their lies on the line to save ours and we know that every minute counts. The traffic safety campaign will run through the spring. Schools are also able to participate with flagman safety and for more information on that you can head to our website fox61.com. In Meriden, Lindsay Kane, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.